This is plus politics. Uh, after battle for the leadership of Edo State intensifies among political players, the All Progressive Congress APC crisis in the state takes a new dimension as two factions have been set to emerge ahead of the party's primary election. The two factions set to be loyal to the duo of Governor Godwin Obaseki and Adam Sushomole, the national chairman. They have now been at loggerhead over the control of the party's secretariat. Oshomole, the APC national chairman, chairman, had directed a letter to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, mandating the commission to relocate the state office. Joining us to discuss this is Odiana Enriata, who is a political ally to APC governorship aspirant Ize Iyam via Zoom. And we also have Olu Martins, a political ally to Governor Gatwin Obaseki, who will also join us anytime soon. But let's start with you, uh, Odiana. Uh, you saw the drama that is playing out, and Nigerians and every other person who is interested in what is going on is asking the question, when are we going to be done with this do-or-die politics? Yeah, I, I think the situation is not as bad as people paint it from a distance, mostly for those who are not actually from a do state or those who are not residents in a do state. For the politicians in Edo State, I think it's just the usual and the normal contestation between uh, parties who are interested in becoming the governor of Edo State come uh, September election and perhaps being sworn in by November. You recall that before now, we have some slight, um, uh, we have issues in Edo. There's no doubt about that. And uh, the executive members of APC in a those states, at some point in time, very comfortable with the leadership of Barrister Aslan Ojezua. And for that reason, they took advantage of the constitution of APC, that's all Progressive Congress, by virtue of uh, Article 21D. And they were able to garner you know, the third of the majority of the executive members. And Aslan was removed from office as the chairman of the party. Shortly after that, Colonel Musa was made the chairman of the party. And that you know, activity of the executive members of APC in the state was ratified by the National Working Committee. And the day after, subsequently, who is now the recognized chairman of the party at the state level, was invited to a NEC meeting. He has attended so many meetings. Is it the South South Zona meetings? Is it the uh, large uh, National Working Committee meeting? Is it the NEC meeting? Or is it the meeting that they had with the uh, Mr. President where he represented those state? And all correspondences between those state and the National Working Committee have been through Colonel David Musa and Lorenzo Soka, who is uh, the secretary of the party. So as far as we are concerned, it's not as bad as people are seeing it from my side. Yes, they are, you know, okay. very stiff contestation, but okay. there's no faction in APC in the those state as far as we are concerned. Okay. Uh, uh, as much as, you, as far as you are concerned, let me listen to Olu Martins, whether he has a different narrative. Uh, Olu Martins is joining us via phone. I understand Olu Martins is a strong ally of Governor Godwin Obaseki. Now, let us let me start from the latest that um, the Federal High Court in Bini has restrained itself from further hearing the suit seeking to stop the direct primary. Is this a sign that uh, all is not well in the governor's camp. Well, thank you very, thank you very much, Kayode. Um, let me first of all greet my friend, Odiana Ariata, we've known since back in university. And let me agree with him in his opening remark, wherein he said, what is happening in those states is a contestation of ideas. And I, I, I agree with him to that extent. However, going forward is that we must ask ourselves, 
What are the contestations about? What is the basis for such contestation? People just don't contest for contestation's sake. The basis for the contestation in Edo State is that there are people who historically have lived off the resources of the state. We have careerist politicians who all of their lives have not done anything outside benefiting from public patrimony, who consider political leadership as their best right. To that extent, they do not think that anybody should come into the political space to contest with them. These are people who have held the title of leader of a political party, not because of their intellectual acumen, not because of their educational advantage, but simply because they have consistently been engaged, they have con consistently been patronized by government. It is nothing more than that. Because if you hear this argument again and again, nobody among them, including my friend Ariata, is talking about whether the governor is delivering the dividends of democracy or is living as the manifestation, manifesto, manifesto of, the AC, of the APC. I'm not a member of their party, and I honestly, I don't want to bother myself about what goes on in their party. What I am bothered about is the reason for which a governor was elected. Because when a governor is elected, he becomes the governor of the good, the bad, and the ugly. He becomes the governor of PDP, of APC, of ADC, AAC, or any other party. All right? So the contestation here is a contestation of, an, of, of, of a paradigm shift, wherein people have enjoyed... Patronate okay. from government. Somebody emerges into public office and consider, conclude that government money should be used for the Edo people and not be shared in the midst of a few persons, of which I know okay. has, uh, 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 area is not one of them because I know his capacity. All right. So, uh, so we like the fact that this contestation is going on because should the governor of Baseki emerge from all of these emerges victory. What it means is that we'll be able to free resources to develop a two state and they will not have resources going into the hands of a okay. few who consider a two state as an annexure of their private estate and who continue to benefit from government patronage at the detriment uh, of the development of infrastructure uh, in the state. Elu uh, Martins, let, let's wait for Enriata to also agree with you over uh, all the accolades you've given him. Uh, he has said something clearly, <laughs> and, I, and it appears that's not what your, your, your candidate is talking about. Is he really talking about dividends of democracy or all about whether the governor is qualified academically or like what is even going on in the screening process, which we are going to, uh, maybe I should take a track from the go governor where he gave his opinion on the issue of the screening. We'll talk about that. Let's quickly listen to this. As a taxi man, I've gone through the screening process, but I do not believe that I'll get justice because from it, Adam Sashomale is an interested party in the Edo process. Uh, one of the questions that was asked, which I was, you know, was that, why did I issue a gazette that will prevent the party from performing direct, direct elections in Edo that did I see it as an anti-party activity? I just felt that, you know, when we now put the show politics above the lives of the citizens of the good state, then we may be missing the point. So, Enrietta, I want you to put this into context. What's your reaction? I, I, I think the governor of the state is not being sincere with the reality of Grand. I can hear the governor of the state, his excellency governor Bassett Key, complaining that he's not sure he will get justice from the screening committee. But before I go further on that, let me quickly comment on what my friend has said, Mr. Pastor Lou Martins, a fantastic guy. But I think if we must be sincere with what is on the ground, I'm a realist, I'm a politician, I don't pretend about that. We are one of those who joined the PC the last quarter of 2019. And since we joined the party, of course, Political 
that is special is not a thing. So if somebody is coming up with any kind of concept to say, oh, these ones are corrupt, they are professional politicians, they are this, that, that, I think they are not being honest with the people of Edo State and the people of Nigeria. The truth is that we have a governor that was elected into office. And the governor is saying that he wants to be, uh, run his second term, and that is not negotiable. I don't need the people to give approval. Whereas it was the people who gave approval in his first term, and this time he said, no, I don't need the people to give approval. It is a deal that must be done. We have a governor who now, oh, perhaps, anybody who has a divergent opinion is either a professional politician or is a godfather or does not mean well for the people of Edo State. That is not true. I'm happy that Pastor Lumati has agreed with me that there's contestation. The truth is that the governor is seeking a second term. And we are saying as people from Edo State and as politicians, that is not automatic. You must subject yourself to the rudiments. If in the first kernel, you went through primaries, which was an indirect primary, and in their wisdom, the National Working Committee and the leadership of the party have now said, we are going to do direct primaries. And the idea is to, you know, for the purpose of inclusiveness, the idea is also show that the party is the party of the people. If all that is being put in place, and screening is not being done, the government is saying, well, I'm not sure I'm going to get justice because Adam Soshomole is involved in the process. Was Adam Soshomole not involved in the process when you were elected in the first place? You see, I don't pretend. I don't let people say, oh, we have godfathers. It's because uh, the collective patrimony of the people from Edo State we refuse to share the collective patrimony. You see, they use that concept or that word, you know, okay. in a deceptive manner. Uh, so uh, are uh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Once they are, we, once they are, once they are speaking for a political office, Okay. As a political leader, they call you off. Arianta, we are so struggling say, with time. Time is not on our side. We're so sorry. Le, le, I, I'm going to take your last comment when I come back to you. But let me quickly listen to Olu Martins say something about this. It, you, two of you said it's a contestation of ideas. And I'm asking, yes, sir. what exactly is the idea? Is it the idea of not taking care of the party or not respecting the constituted authorities of the party, like he has mentioned, this same man was instrumental to his emergence in the primary <laughs> and also becoming a governor. Thank you. You know, you know what? Please, you, you, you have know 60 like, seconds to find you a know way of wrapping like it to, up. You know why I like to extend banters with the with Ariata? Because he's a philosophical person. So I can, I can appeal to his reason. First of all is that in his last statement that he made, where he said Adam Soshomole was involved in the emergence of Godwin or Bat Godwin or Bateke Abinisho. He was involved at that time as governor of a state. He wasn't involved at that time as the national chairman of a political party who is also an umpire in this contestation. It's like two clubs are playing with themselves and they file out into the field only for them to realize that the referee and the two assistant referee, and even the VAR, is wearing one of the jerseys of one of the teams. <laughs> is it not clear that that contestation is not going to be fair, Abinisho? It's like what my mother told me. He say, she said, fight never starts, nose don't they bleed. Adam Soshomole is an interested party in this matter. He is the national chairman. He is the one that is making comments over the certificate of Gordon Obaseki. He is the one who wrote to Ilex that the office, the, the office, APC office, has been relocated to somewhere else. He is the one who is doing all of the publications. He is the umpire in this case. Eriata is a judge, and I mean, Eriata is a lawyer. And in law, the Latin Martin says, Nemo Juga in Casasua. You cannot be a judge in your own court. So you can understand why the governor, okay. Governor Basteki, can leave a screening committee and feel that he will not get justice because I believe you, the umpire is biased. 
I Thank know you. that the Ariata had contested for us of Martin, assembly in People's Democratic you Party. Can... And the ordinary will have won the election okay. but for the handwriting of certain persons who didn't want him to emerge. So we're trying to create a level playing field where the son of a nobody can become somebody without necessarily pandering to the whims and caprices of a godfather. That is not something that we want to go back to in Edo State any so longer. Much. Uh, uh, Olu Martins, uh, I'm so sorry. I wish this conversation can go further, but trust me, the conversation will continue on our Twitter and our Facebook and all the social media platforms that we have. But to That's be fine. fair, um, you have 60 seconds, Enriata, to make your submission on this issue the way forward. Anyway, Mr. Pastor Olu Martins has said I'm a lawyer and uh, I want to perhaps speak to the constitution of APC. By virtue of Article 8, the national chairman has the right to notify INEC on the change of the secretariat of the party at the state level. By virtue of Article 13.4, the National Working Committee is the body that has powers to organize primaries and conduct whatever, make policies for the party. And Olumati does not dispute that. I think the only problem they have, most of them mislead the governor. Oh. They know that Adam Sushomala is the national chairman of APC. There were these confrontations. Somebody who made you governor, even when he, 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 he decided not to be involved in the process, what is wrong when you are not asked to come and do screening? Because when he came in initially, they cover up for him. We are not seeing a governor okay. who was a technocrat for eight years and have only three credits. He has religious study, he has history, and he has geography. Enriata, uh, uh, you, know, <laughs> you said it is, it is a contestation <laughs> of ideas. Okay, thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you so much, gentlemen. I'm so sorry time would not allow us. Trust me, the conversation right. continues beyond <laughs> here. I can see you smiling. I can see you laughing at the background. Olu Martins, for your time, who is a political ally of Governor uh, Godwin Obaseki and uh, Eriata, who is also a political ally of uh, Ize Iyamu. We wish you all the best. Let the conversation continue beyond here. Uh, thank you for staying with us. We will take our plots report now. And when we return, I will be giving you my take on this issue. Please don't go anywhere. The chairman of the Imo State Tax Force Committee on Prevention of COVID-19, Professor Morris Iwo, has confirmed that the state has recorded its first case of COVID-19 death. Speaking during the weekly press briefing in Oweri, Professor Iwo said the casualty was a case of someone who died and later tested to be positive for COVID-19. He stated that the tax force will intensify sanitization campaigns against the virus in Imo State. The tax force chairman also expressed worries over the non-compliance to rules and guidelines to further contain the spread of the virus in the state. I think you are going down, suddenly there will be an upsurge. Uh, nationally, you saw the figures published by the NCDC. Uh, and then we also we are not spared in that national uh, spread. So far, the cumulative positive uh, result we have in our state is 86. And out of the, the 86, 14 of them were new cases as of uh, 9th of uh, this month. That was uh, yesterday, yesterday. The active cases we have now are 12, 6 at the FMC, 6 at the Woody Center. The, we have uh, two females and ten, uh, three females and uh, nine uh, males. Contact tracing of these people are still going on. Uh, we have not yet recorded any death from uh, somebody who we identified as positive undergoing treatment and died. But on Saturday, there was a case that was a probable case, somebody who died and then was tested. This is my take. Irony, irony, and irony. The drama in a dose state is a classical example of irony. 
For many political watchers, this is not a surprise that a man that was called all sorts of names, including being called a cultist, has suddenly, by his then political foe, now been described as an anointed choice of the same persecutor. Like I said yesterday, there is indeed no permanent enemy, rather permanent interest. But for the discerning and the Puritans, it is time to enthrone men and women of integrity and principle. Talk from now until eternity, until men and women of courage take the bull by the horn, get involved in politics. The lamentations have just begun. Only and only if we stop being armchair politics and create the right path, then others will follow. And that's my take for tonight's issues. Thank you for joining on tonight's show. Plot Politics returns tomorrow where we'll be having a special edition on June 12th with equally interesting discussions. Until next time, I am Coyote Ladendi. Say bye for now.